DJI Ronin App. In this video, we will show you the settings about DJI Ronin App. Users can activate the gimbal, update the firmware, use intelligent functions and image transmission using Ronin App. Motor parameters, user profile can also be adjusted via the app. System status are also available. The top bar displays the sleep awake status. Tap to enter or exit sleep mode. Also displays the gimbal follow mode and battery level. Tap about and settings to view your account, language, and the quick start guide. Device list displays the device SN, device name and password. Tap firmware to check the firmware version. Tap academy to watch the tutorials and read the manual documents. Create includes virtual joystick, force mobile, panorama, time-lapse, track, and gaming controller. When the gimbal is connected to a focus motor, focus control is also included. Virtual joystick. Use the virtual joystick in the app to control the movement of the gimbal and to shoot. Control bar. Control the speed and smoothness of the gimbal by adjusting the control bar. Speed allows users to adjust the remote controlled rotational speed. Smoothness allows users to adjust the sensitivity of the gimbal. The lower the smoothness value, the more sensitive the movement of the gimbal. Roll stick. Control the roll axis movement of the gimbal using the virtual joystick. Pan tilt stick. Control the pan and tilt axis movement of the gimbal using the virtual joystick. Recenter. Tap to recenter the gimbal. Photo video toggle. Tap to switch between photo and video modes. Shoot record button. Tap to take photos or record videos. Make sure the mode is the same as the settings on the camera. Force Mobile. Force Mobile requires the phone holder and a mobile phone mounted on a tripod or handlebar vertically. After enabling this feature in the Ronin app, the gimbal movement can be controlled by tilting and rotating your mobile phone. Speed determines the relationship between the rotational speed and angle. Smoothness allows users to control the sensitivity of the gimbal. The lower the smoothness value, the more sensitive the movement of the gimbal. Tap Recenter to recenter the gimbal. Tap Shutter Record button to take photos or record videos. Panorama. Panorama allows users to capture a series of interconnecting still images with precise control based on the sensor type, lens focal length, overlap, and interval. Make sure you have connected the camera and gimbal using the corresponding camera control cable before using panorama. Overlap determines the overlap ratio of every photo when generating a panorama. After confirming the camera settings, the panorama range can be set by dragging the white dots on the grid map, pushing the gimbal manually, or using the virtual joystick. The total range covered by the endpoints and the shots required to compose the panorama is displayed above the grid map. The tilt axis range in panorama is minus 45 degrees to plus 90 degrees in order to avoid capturing the gimbal in the shot, while the pan axis allows you to capture a full 360 degree rotation. Tap the shutter record button to begin. Time lapse. In time lapse, the gimbal triggers the camera to capture still images with the set interval time and will automatically stop when completed. The duration for the time lapse and the frame rate can be set so that the gimbal can calculate the exact number of images required. By enabling push mode, users can manually adjust the pan and tilt axes before starting the time lapse. Tap the virtual joystick icon to use the virtual joystick to adjust the camera orientation. Motion lapse allows users to set up to five waypoints so that the camera moves during the time lapse. To adjust the position of a waypoint, Adjust the camera to the desired position and tap the plus icon to confirm the waypoint. You can also use the virtual joystick to control the pan, tilt, and roll axis as well. To add another waypoint, move the gimbal to the next waypoint and tap the plus icon above the grid map. Afterwards, to delete a waypoint, select the waypoint and tap the trash icon. After setting up the waypoints, you can either tap preview to make sure the motion lapse includes everything or tap the shutter record button to start shooting. 
make sure the camera and gimbal have been connected using the corresponding camera control cable. Track. Track is designed to capture video with up to 10 waypoints. Users need to select the waypoint manually by moving the gimbal or using the virtual joystick. Tap plus to add a waypoint. The duration and stay time can be set on the waypoint settings screen after a waypoint is added and the position of the waypoint also can be reset. Gaming controller. PS4 DualShock and Xbox controllers can be used to control the gimbal and camera. After connecting the controller to the mobile device and gimbal, users can control gimbal movements, focus, and zoom, and can record videos, recenter gimbal, and capture photos. The speed and smoothness of the control sticks can be adjusted. Set the focus value within 10 on the camera settings for optimal performance. Tap How to Use to learn more about the gaming controller. Image Transmission With the DJI Ronin Image Transmitter mounted, tap Connect to RavenEye on the home screen of the Ronin app to use the image transmission feature. LiDAR Lens Profile Lens can be calibrated and flange distance can be adjusted in LiDAR Lens Profile. Balance Adjustment Watch the tutorial videos on this page. Motor Parameters There are basic and advanced menus. Stiffness can be displayed and adjusted in the basic menu. In addition, strength can be adjusted in the advanced menu. Tap Auto-Tune and the gimbal automatically calculates the result based on the weight of the gimbal setup. After calibration, you can see detailed motor diagnostics at the bottom of the screen. If the gimbal is properly balanced, the power value of the motor should be in the range of plus or minus 5. If power consumption on a particular axis constantly goes beyond that range, check the mechanical balance of the gimbal. User Profile Gimbal Mode, Follow Speed, Dead Band, Push Mode, and Joystick Control can be set on this page. Dead Band determines how much movement the gimbal tolerates prior to translating the pan, tilt, and roll movement of the camera. Control Settings Channels. The channel indicator provides feedback when configuring remote operation. Pan, tilt, and roll channels can be reassigned, and each axis can also be inverted. Normal means the direction of movement is the same as the joystick. Inverted means the direction of movement is the opposite of the joystick. You can customize channel mapping by tapping on the name of the axis on the right of the screen. Motion. You can set the joystick control by adjusting dead band, max speed, smoothness, and endpoints for each axis. There are three default profiles for each setting. When the dead band value increases, more stick movement will be required to translate into the actual movement of the gimbal. Max speed allows the remote controlled rotational speed to be adjusted. Smoothness allows you to control the sensitivity of the gimbal. Endpoint limits the rotational range of the gimbal by setting the endpoints. The pan axis has a slip ring, enabling the gimbal to rotate continuously when the endpoints are set to 180 degrees. On the tilt axis, you can set up the endpoints according to your requirements. Some longer lenses may hit the gimbal frame. Set the endpoint angle to prevent such cases. Status. Settings. Use more features such as motor pause, silent mode, horizontal calibration, and restore gimbal setup. Checklist. Displays the connection status of the Bluetooth and camera. When the gimbal status is abnormal, the status information is displayed here.